In this video, we're going to adjust the Toro family of variable adjustable nozzles called the T-Van series. What we're looking at is a 17-foot nozzle, and there's several variations there on the radius. They're all adjustable from 0 to 360 degrees on the arc. And let's talk about that. The left limit is fixed on this one. So if you want to change what that left limit is, we're going to use the ratchet action of the spray body to turn that and put it exactly where we want it. And then if we want to change the right limit of our arc for our spray pattern here, we grab the top of this and that's how we adjust our right limit. We can take it from zero all the way to 360 degrees. Now we can also change the the radius and shorten that up a little bit. We don't want to do it too much. We probably want to keep it below about 20% if we're going to shorten the radius up a little bit. If we need something shorter, then just get another nozzle that has a shorter radius on it. But if we want to shorten it up a little bit, we take a flathead screwdriver and we go to this little screw right here on the top. And you have to kind of hold the, the top ring on this and then run this down. And you just open it all the way back open there and that's how you adjust the radius now let's talk about replacing the nozzle if this nozzle is clogged up and got some debris in it we want to put a fresh nozzle in it i suggest you use the rainbird tool the rainbird spray head tool here and if you're doing a lot of this if you're doing it for a living you probably want to keep several of these on the truck but if you're a homeowner, this isn't very expensive at all. You can get it at pretty much any hardware store or off of Amazon, I'm sure. And what you want to do, now you have to remember this is probably mounted here at grade and ground level. So we're going to come in with our clamp and get it over the grass as best we can. Put it on here. Go back to our timer or our app and shut the zone off. Come back, remove our nozzle. remove the filter. Sometimes you have to take a screwdriver or something to pull that out of there. We're going to go back to our timer or use our app or whatever to turn the zone back on for a second, just enough, maybe 10 seconds, just enough to blow out any debris or anything that might be down in there. Shut it back off and now we're going to grab us some fresh nozzles and filters, come back out, put our filter down in there, and on these here, there's a little removable piece here. And depending on the spray head body and the nozzle, sometimes you have to take this off, but most of the time you need that on there to get the depth to fully seal it all the way down in there. And on these spray heads, if you don't use the filter, you can't use the radius reduction screw. So how we're going to tell on a rough adjust where our left limit is, is there's a little notch here on the side, and we're going to use that notch to rough adjust. And on the top, there is a little arrow there on the top, and we're going to use that to rough set our right limit. Go back, turn our zone on, come back and do our fine tune adjustment on our left limit, and then our right limit and then a radius reduction screw if we need to do that. Otherwise, we're done. 